Hi guys, Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and this tutorial is the second of my uh, chaos um, designs. Uh, this is the first piece that I did in metallics, and this is the bracelet that I made myself with limited edition inside and opaques outside, so it does work quite well with the different kinds of bands. It has the same center to start with as my uh, Order from Chaos and Calm Within Chaos and also actually my Carabajan uh, design. But uh, what I'm going to do it today in is I'm going to do the center chain in white instead of the silver and I'm going to do the outside in blue again. So what we need to do is basically do a center chain um, with slip knots on it. So our center chain will start with a cap band, just as usual. Now if you prefer working with a double-ended uh, hook, you can do this a bit of a different way. If you're working with a double-ended hook, you would put the center chain on first, and then you would probably work the right hand side and then you would slide it down the other end and you'd work it exactly the same as the right hand side you could also do it if you wanted to turn it around you could do it the right hand side way and keep turning it around every time you did it so that you would be doing the slip knot exactly the same way uh, if you want to avoid turning it around, however, I'll show you how to do that as well. So I do it with the not turning it around, but I'll show you, um, if you prefer doing it the other two ways, you'll use the uh, method that I use for the left hand loop on those. Just adjust that lighting slightly. Okay, so the way that I would normally do it is I would work the right hand side first with a leaf stitch, L-E-A-F, with the slip knot colour on the left on the hook, picking that up, pulling it through. Like so. Okay, so that's your normal leaf stitch. But what you'll be doing is you won't actually be uh, attaching that. You'll be working on this right hand side first and keeping hold of this which is a little easier once you've moved up the brace a little, little, but hang on to the left hand side of that and just the cap band. You need to take it out of the left hand side, put it under the white, this needs to be a bit further up like that, under the white, flip this side over, It'd be good if I didn't obscure that, flip that side over and catch that in, then attach that. So that's how you do the right hand side without turning the hook. And then the left hand side is the way you would do it if you're going to keep working on the left and turning it or using a double ended hook. So you pull it through that one left hand loop, then you would take it out of the left hand loop, turn your hook over, grab a hold of that, bring it back over past that white and then just pick up you kind of push through and that picks up the white like so and you end up with a slip knot then you would slide another band through and do it again but for me anybody who doesn't like turning their hook you do a leaf stitch again pull it through a bit easier to hold on to this time because you've got those other bands holding it Remove it from the left, grab a hold of that white band, flip up and over the hook, and then grab the left hand side of that, like so. Then the left hand side. Everywhere at the moment. Where am I picking that up from? There we go. Some of the bands fell on the floor before my mum's picked it up from there. Okay. So, leaf stitch. 
or through all of them. And on this right hand side, under the white again, flip that band over and push it through the other side. On the left hand side, bring that one through, turn your hook over, and make sure you don't twist this, it should be straight, turn your hook over, bring it back past that white, and push it through, like so. Just do it one more time. So again, if you were actually doing it by turning it, you put a band through like so, and do the left hand side by turning your hook over and pushing it through. Then you would grab all of those, turn it round, my bit that's not my favourite thing to do. Turn it round. Make sure you've got those attached in the right way and you haven't lost that one. And then you do the left hand side again. And then you would pull another white one through. And do that left hand side technique, turning over. run through with the hair all over it, the fluff, like that, then you would turn and repeat that. Now the tricky thing is here is if you don't hang on to that, that'll pop up again and you will have lost it. Alrighty, so I'm going to make a longer chain of this and uh, you can rewind as many times as you need to until you've got a chain that is uh, it needs to be longer than your wrist and in this case I would say it probably needs to be half again as long a uh, third to a half again as long as your wrist okay so I've just done a small amount up here um, and we'll work work with that what we'll need to do now is just finish off with a holding band at the top or something to to hold that so I'll just slip knot a band through there just be careful if you're using um, you know limited edition bands or something like that sometimes the slip knots don't hold so use another band grab an opaque or something like that to slip knot it off all right now this is where it gets interesting we actually just have to identify um, the band that we're going to uh, slip knot up to make the side border because you don't add any more bands to this. So if I show you the example here, all we're doing is finding the slip knot and it's one of the side loops. So you grab all the side loops and you slip knot them. Easy to see here, you grab all the side loops and you slip knot them up. And that's what's actually making these the opposite side prominent. So it doesn't matter really which side you choose to work from. So I'm going to choose to work from just this front. But this front part will actually become the back, if that makes sense, because we're going to be choosing these front side loops. So what I normally do is actually pull out each of the front side loops. So you can see that's the back side loop, the front side loop. Like so, like so. So pull that out all the way up the side you're going to be working on. And then all we have to do is to go in to this one, up to the next one, and slip through. Slide up to this one and slip it through. To this one, slip it through. Up to this next loop you've pulled out, slip it through. Next loop, slip it through. So you do that all the way up. Try not to twist it, it should just be going down through. 
and lifting straight back up again. You can do it from the side, whichever way you want to, but it should end up being straight. And slip it up and through. And when you get to the top, you will have this one band that you've slipped through. And I would grab the slip knot that you've pulled through and actually just pull it through that top band as well. like so. And you can see how it's gathered it up a little bit which is why you need to have this um, central band made a bit longer to start with. Now the only thing you need to be careful of here is to make sure you're picking up not this centre band here, if I can get rid of this fluff, not this centre band here but this side loop has to be the same side loop on the side you've already picked up. So if you're picking up on this, which is going to be the, the back, don't accidentally pick up this side loop. And you'll be able to tell because if you pick up the wrong side loop, you'll have a loop running across this way. So you want to pick up that side loop again, all the way up, just pull it out. You can pull it out as you go, but I just find this makes it easier. See how it neatens up that centre bit when you pull it out too? Like so. And you're going to do exactly the same thing. Get in through this one. And again, it doesn't really matter where you do it from so long as you're going in and up through that one, pulling it down through the previous and picking it straight up. So grab that loop you've pulled up down through the previous or lift the previous over and pull it up. Bring it down through, pull it up, bring it down through and pull it up. So it's not a new concept, uh, it's just a new concept when you're doing it with the loops of a slip knot. Bring it down and up. And the last one, down and up, loosen off that slip knot, and then pull the slip knot band, so pull that band through like so to finish it off. So it's a very easy finish, like so. And that's all there is to it. Now what you can do now is of course twiddle around and adjust so that these ones are facing nice in the same direction. But also you can grab this, now you've turned it over, so this is the, the side you've slip knotted up. If you turn it over, the loops that are out to the side but that are sitting more prominently, you can actually give them a tug. Try and keep them sort of even. Just loosens the design slightly, it's not going to stay like that, but loosens the design slightly so that when you give it another little pull like so, it's just opened it out. And that is it, that is all that there is to Calm Within Chaos. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you're not sure about anything, you can rewind and go back. Um, and other than that, I hope you've liked it, and uh, if you have, could you give me a like? Uh, check me out on Instagram and hashtag any of your re renditions. Um, and tag them to me in your comments and on your pictures and I'd love to see them. So I will catch you later guys. Bye.